Before we get started with this video, I just want to remind you, 10 times entries till May 20th, GT500 S550 shirts are uh, last stock in the website. Everything else we will be replenishing, so definitely go down in the description. Every $5 you spend is an entry, plus there's a 10 times entry bonus on that, so 10 times multiplier gets you an entry to win this turbo bullet right here. So. Let's get back to the video. What is going on guys? So this should be a familiar sight, throwback to the Turdzilla days, uh, but we have the SN95, I think we're calling it Project Nightmare. Uh, we are gonna be installing the K-member in this, um, as well as the other suspension components. We have a bunch of different parts from UPR. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything unboxed here, but uh, this car is gonna go from pretty much a stock car to a pretty wild drag car very quickly. So I will leave a link in the description uh, down below to everything that we were using on this car. I don't know if the uh, struts came in yet or the shocks from Viking, uh, but we are gonna go ahead and get the K-member uh, installed, knocked out. So like I said in the last video, I am not going to be telling you guys what engine comma we are going with. Uh, we are gonna be keeping it a secret. To tell you it is going to be a small block push rod engine, uh, but we are not gonna be filling you guys in. It does, however, have a power glide going in it. And this car is, uh, the plan is to be extremely light um, for drag racing. Interior completely gutted. Uh, if you guys have a Kirky seat, let me know. We're looking for one in the area. Um, but we got a power glide transmission. First time I've ever done that. We got the converter. Uh, so those things are what's going to be going in here. I am very excited uh, to get this thing started. All right, so we got everything laid out here. We got the front K-member coilover springs, the coilover sleeve kit. We also have the tubular A-arms. Uh, so we got all this stuff kind of laid out here. Caster camber plates, uh, bump steer kit, uh, spanner wrenches. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle the front suspension uh, right now. Uh, we also have full length uh, subframe connectors. We will uh, weld those in at a later date on a drive-on rack. And then we got it separated to the rear suspension. We have UPR upper and lower pro series control arms. These are all solid bushings. Uh, we have the spherical 88 um, axle bushings as well. And we also have a anti-roll bar uh, going in here. And then we also have uh, Viking springs and we have a uh, coilover style adjustable uh, ride height. Those will also need to be welded in. Uh, so we'll probably tackle some of the rear suspension, but some of the stuff is gonna have to be welded in, which we'll do later. But we're gonna go ahead and start tearing it apart and get the tubular K-member in, and uh, we should be good to go. Uh, the Viking double adjustable rear shocks are on the way, uh, so those are being shipped directly from Viking. So this is the only thing we don't have for the rear suspension, uh, but it's not too big of a deal. We're gonna go ahead and start tackling the front. So we got the K-member yanked right out of the car. Uh, this car is incredibly dirty, uh, just getting dirty all around. Uh, we've got new, some new shiny parts. I'm gonna go ahead and get the main K-member mounted and then I'll build everything off of that. We are gonna be transferring the steering rack off of this. This thing was pretty clapped out. Um, there are nothing really left of the ball joints on both sides, um, but we will be reusing the spindles and the steering rack and we do have a bump steer kit so that will take care of the outer tie rods. Um, so we will be using some components off of this old K-member here. We are going to go ahead and start getting the new nice shiny UPR K-member pulled in here. All right guys, so we have the K-member in. Um, I guess my uh, my time lapse didn't film, but I did go ahead and get the K member all bolted in. We also have the A arms and the uh, knuckles on as well. Uh, we do not have the steering rack bushings or rack bolts, those are being sent. They're going to be coming in tomorrow. Uh, but I am going ahead, and this is pretty funny. So, we're actually going to be running a UPR uh, sleeve kit. This is not a recommended option, but uh, I think it's going to do big wheelies. Uh, these are blown stock struts. 
Um, so it's probably gonna ride like absolute crap. Uh, we'll probably put a nice set of Vikings up front, uh, but for right now, uh, we're gonna run these stock struts. Cool thing about some blown struts is it's gonna pick up the front wheels, which looks cool. Eventually it's gonna get lame and we're gonna put on some legitimate, uh, probably some Vikings or some strange uh, front adjustable struts. These are just to get us by, get the car rolling and get the engine in transit and make some passes and then we can tweak the suspension a little bit more. Uh, but these are a very cheap, uh, easy way to get rolling with coilovers uh, since you no longer have spring perches on the A-arms. But check that out, it looks awesome. And then over here, uh, we are not gonna be using the control arms anymore. Uh, the ball joints were super blown on that. Luckily, the UPR tubular A-arms, they come with new ball joints. Uh, the 9495K member, uh, someone is actually buying this uh, for a 302 swap into a new edge, uh, so that will be gone. We will be reusing the stock manual rack. We'll probably switch to a full-on manual rack down the line, but uh, we're gonna be getting rid of the power steering lines and running straight up manual steering. This car is full on, this is a kind of the uh, first time I've done a pretty much complete gutted uh, kind of race car. So it's definitely gonna be a lot of fun. You know, we got the subframe connectors in there, uh, the power glide. So this car is uh, gonna be a light shell. I mean, this doesn't even have ABS in it. So we definitely have a lot of room for activities. I'm gonna go ahead and slam the uh, shocks together uh, or struts uh, and turn them into coilovers, which will be uh, some wheelie monsters for sure. So part of this, I gotta grind this little sleeve here. Again, don't do this. This is a bad idea. These are terrible struts. But in the nature of this build, it's kind of a budget full send, so. So, the reason why, uh, we're doing that is uh, to fit, I don't really know which way this goes, but basically fit the sleeve over here. So it looks Tough like I, huh? The other way? Uh, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't really matter for, for my test fit. So I definitely have to keep going on uh, grinding, but this sleeve was there for the factory dust cover, uh, but obviously we're repurposing these crappy struts for a different thing. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep grinding. Definitely looks like this side needs to go down more. And uh, I'll show you the completed product. Not a good idea to have paper next to sparks, but we like to live dangerously over here. Still gonna need a little bit more, but we'll we'll give her a try. Still not positive on which way this goes, but oh, yeah. there she is. There we go. Um, oh yeah, that, that actually looks. Well, I'm gonna have to research which way this goes. Yeah, I think that that looks about right, right? Mm-hmm. It somehow needs to come down and maybe seat. But yeah, um, basically that spring top hat, boom. Hold on. I got an idea for you. Oh, dude, they're fucking BCs, yeah. dude. Yeah, they're BC coilovers. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. All right, hold on. Uh, is this the BR series or DS series? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, cool. Yeah, BRs. Yeah. Dude, that's All, sick. Yeah, only the best, dude. So, uh, yeah, I just gotta kinda figure out how uh, how these kinda slam together. I mean, it looks like that groove would kinda sit there, right? Yeah. Just have to see. We'll just have to, we have to look up on uh, BC's website, see how they go. Oh yeah, BC's website, yep. So that uh, smooth part goes there. Step three, remove the adjustable collar and apply a liberal amount of anti-seize on the threads. Dun -up, dun -up, dun. <laughs> Is this pretty That's good? Pretty liberal? Yeah, I mean it's gonna slide down there. So then I think it said um, to 
put the thrust bearing upgrade. All right guys, so we got a lot done on the SN95. Uh, we've got the new tubular K member in. We also have the coilovers installed, the UPR caster camber plates, and uh, we are waiting to put the steering rack in. Overall, this car is already starting to transform. Uh, we're obviously gonna be deleting a lot of this stuff out of the engine bay. For right now, we're just keeping it in there, but we are going Holly Terminator X uh, for our engine management, which is gonna be really awesome, so we can really eliminate a lot of this factory stuff. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff in this. This car doesn't have ABS, which is awesome. Uh, so it does stay uh, fairly light. But you can see the UPR sleeve coilover kit still on stock brakes, UPR tubular A-arms. Everything is looking really, really good in here. I am very excited. I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to pick up any of these parts from UPR. If I have a discount code, I'll leave it there. I'm not sure if we have one there or not. But uh, we are definitely making some awesome progress. Uh, we will be coming back in the next video uh, with doing the rest of the steering rack and the steering rack mounted and the front of the car kind of tucked away and done. Uh, and then we'll start tackling the rear. Um, I actually found out that the rear uh, spring purchase don't need to be welded in. Uh, so we will be working on that. And I am very excited to uh, keep cranking on the SM95. All right, guys, check that out. It looks pretty wild from down below. Like I said, these coilovers are kind of not the best um the, not the sleeve part um but the fact that we're using a stock strut uh but it should make the car wheelie and it should be fun initially until we uh you know get some uh better uh vikings or strange or something like that underneath here but that is what it's looking like i'm very excited to keep going with this project um because it's going to be extremely light so we're not going to need crazy horsepower uh to get this car down track and make a uh, you know, some good runs. Rear end suspension wise, it's actually all stock. So we're gonna be pretty much ripping everything out. We got Viking uh, rear shocks coming for it. We're getting rid of the rear sway bar. Uh, we're also gonna get rid of uh, quad shocks. Uh, if SN95s have these, yes, SN95s do have quad shocks. We're gonna delete those. Uh, we're gonna be doing the new Viking springs in the rear. Um, and then we're also doing upper, lower control arms uh, and the spherical bushings. Uh, so those axle bushings are always a fun time to uh, press out, but we will hopefully figure it out. And uh, that is what she is looking like at the current moment. Uh, no tailpipes, we don't plan to run a uh, full exhaust on this. Uh, it is going to be primarily a race car and eventually a uh, turbo car. So uh, it will have headers, X-pipe, and pretty much dumps or a muffler to dump. All right, we're gonna get the drift car pulled in. Uh, this car currently has pretty much no brakes. We're waiting for a uh, set of calipers, pads, rotors, everything to come in. Um, and we're going to just park this right under this car. We'll pull everything back out tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and get this one tucked in here. That's good. Yeah, so we got the drift car in here and uh, we're gonna pull the, the bullet back in. Poor Crown Vic, we need to figure out why she doesn't start. Sad. No power to injectors, I'm assuming. Yeah. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. We got all the cars back in the shop wrapped up. Uh, so uh, make sure you slap the like button down below. Uh, Project Nightmare SN95, I think, is going pretty well um, so far since we ripped out the L302, which was the nightmare. Uh, now, we are gonna be uh, transforming this thing so much more. So leave a comment down below if you're excited for this build. And like I said, the engine is still a secret. It's gonna be a secret for a while. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. A little bit of a grudge car, but you know, it should be fun. So we'll see you guys in the next one.